Jeff Fantas here, and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the Federated Auto Parts 400 at Richmond. So yeah, so let's get started here. So as we know, Kevin Harvick managed to go back to back and win his second race in a row and managed to win at Richmond. So yeah, so I mean, I know I've said before I'm not a Harvick fan, but yeah, I mean, he managed to win today. And also one thing you, you may notice here out of these top five cars is that as you can tell right here, yes, this right here is the new Christopher Bell DeWalt Next Gen. I mean, I actually just got this yesterday, and yeah, I mean, I didn't feel like filming a video about it, so yeah, I mean, I apologize for that, but here's just a, here's just a quick look at it. Yeah, so just wanted to show that right there in this review. I mean, I just felt like using it in here, so second Next Gen I'm using in the top five finishes right here. So yeah, so I'm just... So that's that there. So yeah, but of course you guys know though I'm not a huge Harvick fan, but yeah, I mean I'm just surprised though that he actually managed to win today. I mean for a moment, like near the end, I thought I thought for a moment that um, Chris Arbel was gonna get it because he had fresher tires than Harvick and he was really close of of getting there, but he just didn't have enough at the end to get Harvick. So yeah, so I'm just. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm just saying, if there was, like, maybe one or, or five more laps, he would have probably maybe win, like, like how Denny Hamlin did it back in April, like, when Byron was leading with around 10 to go, and then Hamlin stole the uh, stole the lead away and managed to get the victory, like, Bell just nearly did that, did that right there, I mean, they just did that there for Bell there, so yeah, so, yeah, so, I mean, just, I mean, yeah, I mean, Bell was just close, though, but just not enough at the end. I mean, just, once again, though, if there was more laps, he would have won that race. But, yeah, but, but, I mean, for this race, though, there was not a lot of incidents, just, like, back in April. So, yeah, but, I mean, just, but, there was just not a lot of incidents today, but, yeah. So, I mean, just, like, but, I mean, the, the first incident was when um, Reddick spun out early and was not really a contender afterwards. Like, he just stayed at the back all day. And then, like, the next incident was now in, like, well, if you count this one, was when Stenhouse just um, hit hit the side of Truex when he was coming to pit row, which caused Stenhouse to miss pit road. And then when he came down pit row, he got a speeding penalty. So, yeah. I mean, of course, you guys know I'm not a Stenhouse fan either. So, yeah. So, I mean, just, but... Yeah, and then afterwards, there was not a lot into that afterwards until like one uh, one of the one of the restarts, which was between my driver Kyle Busch, Ross Chastain, and Eric Jones. Like Chastain and Kyle were fine, but Jones was not because, um, I mean, just yeah, I mean Chastain just spun Kyle Busch out in my opinion. So basically, that was Chastain's fault right there. So yeah, I mean, just another uh, one Chastain has done this year, like. I'm being honest, Chastain has just wrecked so many cars this year, like, now he's, like, at least wrecked three JGR cars, which, yeah, and he's also wrecked a couple of others, like, um, Elliot, Almeniger, and others, maybe, I don't know, so, yeah, so, I mean, I mean, yeah, so, I'm just saying, you know, that was probably Chastain's fault, and then afterwards, also, Bell even spun out, like, yeah, I mean, if Bell would have won, that would have been a spin, and, a spin and win, their victory. But, I mean, he just didn't have enough time to get to the ink to the finish first. So, yeah, so, I mean, just, I mean, I, I know I've already mentioned that uh, if there were more laps, but still, I mean, if, if there was just more, he would have won. But, yeah, I'm just, and as you can tell you here, you're, the rest of the top five behind Harvick and Bell are Busher, Hamlin, and Elliott. Which Busher ran a really good race and nearly uh, took the lead away from Harvick. Which, yeah, which if he would have won that, he would have been in the playoffs. Which, yeah, I mean that would have been that would have been insane right there if if Busher would have won. Yeah, I mean just it's, and you knowing the fact that his 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 last win, which was his first win in the Cup Series, that was six years ago which was at 2016 in Pocono when it was a shortened race because of fog. Like, seriously, I mean, if he would have won today, that would have been his first win in six years. That would have been crazy, but I, due to the live traffic, though, he just didn't, and he just couldn't get through to the victory and get past Harvick. But, yeah, I mean, of course, there's Watkins Glen and Daytona coming up, which could be some chances for him, but we'll see about that. 
but yeah, and then of course Hamlin, the April winner, there in fourth, and Chase Elliott fifth, which he didn't qualify well, but he managed to get top ten, and also Truex and Blaney, the uh, and Truex and Blaney, which are which they are still battling for the last playoff st uh, sp uh, playoff spots. They both got top tens. Same with my driver Kyle Busch for the first time since Gateway, which I'm glad about. And and also yes, this is this video is being recorded after post race inspection, so there were no issues for that issues for, for any of the cars. So they're good there, including the, the, these top five cars you see right here. So yeah, so I mean, all, so that's that's good right there. So yeah, so I mean, just yeah, but and also. Also, another th uh, thing I want to mention, um, the, the driver who finished last today was actually Ty Gibbs, who was filling in for Kurt Busch. It was, I think it was just an engine issue that caused Ty Gibbs to be out, but, yeah, yeah I mean, that's tough right there, but, but, yeah, but about Kurt, though, I still hope that Kurt will be back soon, though. Yeah, since he, he hasn't been in the car since, um, New Hampshire. So, yeah, so I'm just, but... Yeah, but hopefully though, Kurt will be back soon before Daytona. But we'll at least see though when he'll be back. So yeah, so but I mean just but overall though, I mean this race was um just average, I guess. I mean th this was probably maybe my favorite Richmond race. And yeah, I mean that's just I'm just saying that just because I'm not a huge fan of this track since I mean just sometimes this track can be kind of boring. But yeah, I mean this race was just good at least I mean it was at least my favorite Richmond race so yeah so I mean just that's one thing I can say about this race here so yeah but I mean just hopefully though uh, uh, when the, uh, hopefully the for the Richmond races next year they can be a little better but we'll at least see about that there to, uh, when we get news about Richmond races uh, when we get news about Richmond raceways schedule next year I mean personally I would think they could maybe go down to one date but We'll see about that there, if what they'll do. So yeah, so I mean, just but, but yeah, I mean, those are just my thoughts there on the race here. Just overall, just not bad here, but yeah, I mean, of course, though, we got Watkins Glen and Daytona coming out, which are the last two races of the regular season. So yeah, so I mean, just, yeah, so I mean, just that's that there, but we'll at least see how these next two races perform out here. So yeah, so I mean, I have a feeling they're going to be crazy here, especially with Daytona coming out. I mean, just... With only one spot left in the playoffs, things are really going to start picking up here, especially with the Glen coming up. So yeah, so I mean, just we'll see what happens when we when Watkins Glen comes up. So yeah, and so yeah, so that's what I have to say about the race here. So yeah, and for videos this week, um, probably expect the normal stuff here, air on my channel like. Yeah, just normal train videos. In fact, this Tuesday I'll I'll be going to Hearn in Texas, so expect uh, so hopefully I can get a train there when I'm up there. And yeah, and also possibly I'll be doing my NASCAR Authentics Wave Four prediction since Wave Three came out that last week. Sorry for not mentioning that on my community tab, but I'll probably mention that a little later. So yeah, but I mean just so yeah, and after after the Hearn trip, I'll do expect just more more random train videos after that, but. We'll see what other train videos I'll be uploading along with posse other content. I mean, I'll also be doing a stream tomorrow, which that'll be my fourth train record stream. So yeah, so stay tuned for my stream tomorrow. So yeah, so I mean just, but overall, then we'll, uh, overall though, that's what I have to say about this race here. Yeah, and and stay tuned for my stream tomorrow and hopefully a Hearn video this Tuesday. So yeah, so anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later.